And welcome back to Let's Play Diablo 3, the beta. Uh, he wants to... We want to head back into town, but first we got to open the northwest gate. And since we killed the blacksmith's wife... There's a big pack coming this time. Stand your ground! Oh, crap. These guys don't help me, right? Yeah. That's the last of them. The bridge is clear. Okay. That, that was good. Scavengers are... Ugly, pathetic creatures who survive off of carrion and corpses, too diseased to attract any other carnivores. I did once meet a raggedy fellow who claimed that he had trained one of the beasts to bring him large rats to eat. <laughs> but I'm sure the story is utter nonsense. Well, I'm sure that will never come into play later. Let's head on into the Weeping Hollow. We have to find the crown of King Leoric, which is buried with his chancellor. And we have to find out what happened to the blacksmith's apprentice. Well, let's uh, follow this road, because roads are always the safest place to go, right? Oh crap, they're right off the edge. And we have a boss creature, Uze the Ghastly. He's electricity enchanted. Minions, these guys will be stronger than normal. And they're also electri electricity enchanted. Haha. <laughs> I blocked lightning with my feet. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. I killed you. Oh, well, I guess the dead have a way of coming back. Otherwise, they wouldn't be an, a problem. And we can get... There's a light post we can destroy. Okay, that was dumb. It just got darker. I hear enemies off to the left. Oh, crap. It's another grotesque. Keep on coming, and there's more of them here. I think we got a massacre for it. 30 experience points. Crap, I see another boss. Hate monger devilkin. A devilkin? That's not what devilkins look like. Hey, stop running away, damn it. Crap, that's a lot of enemies. Ah, scavengers. Crap, I am really low on health. Die, damn it. They're scavengers. I gotta take out some of his minions first. But I reach level 6 and I get a new skill slot for that. I've unlocked a new active skill slot and I believe a new skill. Yep. Doing the Volt skill. God damn it, more scavengers. I have like 30 enemies chasing me right now. God damn. Okay, I'm, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to speed this up once I take out this treasure seeker. He's leaving a trail of gold. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up and maybe play music because I like to rip off Chuck of Conroy. <laughs> Took a bit while, but it wasn't that tough. It just took a long time. I just kind of stood there and kept using my thing. Kept using my, uh, what's it called? Evasive fire. 
for a rabbit is dead here. Well, yeah, fortunately we find the corpse of Hadric's apprentice. I am too late. The blacksmith's apprentice is dead. I must let Hadric know when I can. Oh well, let's loot his stuff. zombies appear. Every time you try to touch the dead, zombies appear. I guess they don't like being abused that way. But damn, more of these guys. Okay, over here there's a health shrine. And, god damn it, now we're fighting skeletons. And, they're not gonna read us what the skeletons are like, are you? Audio for that one yet, I guess. Uh, well, yeah, he healing shrines or healing wells will automatically heal your health. I believe they heal all of it, or maybe just a portion of it, but I'm at full health right now, so I wouldn't want to waste it. But it does respawn eventually. There's a lot of enemies in this section. Stop telling me about the damn equipment slots. Fine, I'll equip that. I don't need that. Uh, that is the same as I already have. That is already have. Short bow, I don't use that. I use crossbows. I don't need that. I'll put that in my stash. Club of Winter. A club that deals cold damage. Why would you enchant a club like that? It's a it's a piece of wood or rock. Really. Come on. Magical club of your ancient powers. And all that good stuff. I'm probably not gonna stand here and kill all these enemies on screen. I'll, I'll probably go back to doing a montage, actually, because there's a lot of guys here. I mean, look at the size of this area. If they would stop attacking me when I go to the map. Look at that. Every time I try to kill one, I end up flying back like 40 feet. So yeah, I'm going to take the time to clear out this whole area because it continues to about way up here. And that's how long it took just to clear out this one section. So I'll probably just montage this. And I guess that'll be the end of the episode once I reach the uh, waypoint up ahead. So I will see you guys when I see you. thing is that once you get a new skill slot you can automatically equip any of your older skills as well so that's pretty cool you can I, I can I'm gonna re-equip my caltrops right. set that as my one all right back to the music
also encounter a more another electrified group of enemies right here, right outside of a desecrated shrine. This one is a frenzy shrine, which means that it increases the cast speed of your spell by 25% until the shrine runs out, which is about two minutes. These guys should be. These guys are just not. These guys are not minions. They're just electrified, regular dead. Focusing on one. I am too low on discipline. Shut up, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, and when they die, they leave a corpse that continues to shoot at electricity for quite a while. Jeez, that's annoying. But yeah, uh, shrines are another recurring element from the game that will basically give you a, a short buff. So we get plus 25% to our attack screed and attack chance and. 25% better chance of getting criticals. So now I'm shooting 25% faster at these guys. But it's still very slow and methodical. I really wouldn't be taking that much more damage. Or it wouldn't really even be that much faster if I weren't taking such a uh, protective approach to it. Because she is not designed to really get into the fray. She is designed to stay back. The Demon Hunter is designed to stay back and take pot shots from afar. He's like a sniper. Yeah, I love the auto aim in this game. You don't really have to aim too close to it, it automatically targets him. So yeah, I'm not even right on him. He's still, he's still targeting him just fine. It's already shaping up to be a fairly long episode. But I really do want to clear out the rest of this. So I'm going to end the episode here, finish clearing out the rest of this area, and then I will meet you back at this checkpoint for the next episode. Because I really don't need to do it, but I want the experience, and these guys are probably going to drop some good items for me. So uh, that's why a lot of people... That's, I've been toying with the idea of doing a Diablo LP for a while, but I feel it would be pretty hard to make it really all that interesting. Because it's such a more methodical kind of game, it'd be like doing a Let's Play of Fallout. It, there's not a whole lot of action going on that, that you can really talk about. It's a very methodical kind of game, especially if you're picking up every item you find. Maybe if it were a speedrun or something, but then you would be focusing so much on the game. It, might be, it would have to be a post-commentary, I, I suppose. But, well, enough talking about uh, Let's Plays. I'll see you guys next time, and my shrine just ran out. Aww. Later, folks.